So you will have a pretty big decision to make right from the very beginning of Biomutant, which is going to be which class are you going to play first. There are six of these in total in the game, one of them is reserved as a DLC slash pre-order bonus, but there are five remaining ones that are pretty different from one another, they provide some pretty good passives and abilities, and in this video I want to break down all of these for you guys so that you can make the best decision possible with your starting main. As always, a thumbs up on the video would be super helpful and let's jump right into it. Now I will start the video with a big disclaimer and that's the fact that despite all of these options in the beginning of the game, it doesn't mean that you're fully locked onto a specific path and even more so that's true with the weapons and the guns as there is no class restriction when it comes to these and you can freely use them on any character and on any, well, class. The only thing that matters is that if you min-max stuff then yes you have to pay attention to the class, breed and gear combination and then there's also the subject of specific passives that each of the classes has so we will talk about at least a few of these when it comes to each particular class. So I'm gonna start things off with the Deadeye. If you're one of the players that is still yet decided on what class to pick first then maybe the Deadeye is gonna be the best for you simply because it combines the best of the both worlds so in this case it combines gunplay with melee damage though I will say that in the case of the Deadeye it slightly favors gunplay a little bit more both with how it plays as well as with some of its passives. Now one of the passives that Deadeye has is called the perfect reload which sounds really interesting. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted a plus 20% bonus damage. The way this works in game is pretty simple when you're low on ammo you will get a button prompt with a Deadeye and if you press it which would be R1 on the controller you will instantly replenish your ammo instead of waiting for the full reload animation and not just that you also get that bonus damage on top so you can immediately start shooting again and also deal additional damage which makes for a pretty awesome combo. Now when it comes to some of the best breeds for the Deadeye assuming that you are aiming for some melee combat in the mix as well, Dun Dun would be one of the best because it has some of the highest bonus towards strength while still retaining decent levels of vitality so this means that your HP and armor are also going to be pretty good at the start of the game. Again, as you level up, you will increase these stats by even higher, so eventually it's not gonna matter as much, but at the start it is going to matter quite a bit. Now the next one that I will cover, and yes, we jumped over the commando for a little bit, is the Psy Freak, and the reason is because I just love everything this class is and has to offer. It's one of the only classes in the game that comes in with one active ability and one passive, and that active ability cannot be found on any other class in the game which is the spark ball so essentially you shoot kind of like an electrical ball you have to bind this to um, a certain key combination in the game and it will inflict damage the way you're facing so you will throw it the way you're facing and this will by the way scale up with your intellect and to be more specific with the power stat power stat which influences the damage of your spells so if you also unlock other spells later on which you will obviously want to they will also benefit from that then we have the mega mind passive perk which increases the key energy regen by 20 percent so that we can regenerate key much faster faster and spell cast way more often. Now when it comes to specific breeds there is one in the game that is very focused on intellect and this will be the best if you're going for a pure psy freak that exclusively focuses on spell casting and that would be the FIP because this one has the biggest bonus to intellect as a whole group so this includes some of the highest power bonus, some of the highest key energy and some of the highest regen that you will be able to get in the game. Now theoretically you can go with Rex as well for example since it is a hybrid in case you want to go with something that also utilizes guns but these are the two options that I will go with when the game comes out. Now for the Commando this is a really interesting one because it's pretty much the opposite of Psy Freak and like the half of the Deadeye as in it exclusively focuses on ranged damage, on gunplay and whatnot though again you're not restricted when it comes to using swords for example if you 
you want to use it with this commando class, but you get the fury buff, ranged weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage to the target. Now personally I would go with the Murgle in this case, I haven't seen too many people mentioning this, but simply because it has the best bonus to crit chance and a pretty great loot chance as well in the process, and the barter skill is also very useful because you will get much better prices at the vendors, so in this situation it kind of fits that as well. Now luckily enough there is no shortage of ranged weapons in the game to use in this case with a commando, you have shotguns, rifle, automatic rifles, um, there's even like guns that you can use, though in this case we see the commando yeah, actually using a rifle, so it might be the best one to choose with this higher range, uh, pretty precise, pretty high damage, you can make some really awesome ones in the game with some really powerful effects and yeah, the commando class is gonna be really fun if you're just going to want to stay back and shoot people from afar and like just be done with the entire area. And the next one is gonna be the saboteur and this is gonna be like the pure melee case in which I recommend um, the dun dun here again because it gives you the biggest bonus towards strength so it will benefit your melee damage the most but you actually come in with two passive abilities again. One of them is the twin silver grip which enables dual wield essentially. So melee dual wield skill, equip two different one-handed weapons to dual wield them which is gonna open up a whole bunch of new attacks compared to having only one of these in one hand. Also because you're using two one-handers you will be pretty nimble, you're gonna jump from one enemy to another. I'm not sure if we saw any official gameplay up until this point, at least released, but yeah, if you play Assassin or Rogues in other games, this is the class for you, essentially this is exactly that, even some of the bonuses are specifically for that, in this case the hypergenetic, your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%, so uh, yeah, you're pretty much the rogue of Biomutant. The final one is going to be the Sentinel, the one that I saw least being talked about. Your base armor is increased by 10 and that's basically all you get with the toughness. Now some of the best combinations with the breed in the game would be with the Hyla because this has um, some of the highest vitality so you get max HP and a little bit of armor in there as well while still retaining a bit of you know melee damage because this is also a melee kind of class that is mostly aimed towards in this case would be a crush weapon so that would be kind of like a hammer or an axe equivalent in this game but you can also use like double-handed sword and again no restriction to other weapons either and we can still see all of these classes is still using something like a gun on the side and you're gonna be able to use that with the sentinel too. Now of course these were the five classes, there's as I've said a sixth one which is the mercenary, that's the one that you get if you get it as a DLC or if you pre-order the game but I don't think anyone has clearance yet to actually make a video about it, so as soon as that's possible I will post a video about it, but essentially it's the 6th class and just like in the case of every other class out there, it will have its own unique perks and passives, but everything else on top, just like I mentioned in this video, will be shared with all of the classes, so there's many more skills, abilities and also passives that I haven't covered, that are in the game and that are possible to unlock on all classes as well, so you can mix and match your playstyles, so you're not constricted to one single playstyle or path. But totally let me know down below in the comment section what is your preferred breed and class combination that you will start once Biomutant launches on the 25th. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.